Hi, uh, welcome back, all of you. Nana here. And then uh, yesterday we were struggling on the job and positions basically. And then now uh, I I set up the complete uh, structure in another uh, instance. No, fine. So there I just tested job. It is working. So let me first of all complete my job and positions, and afterwards I will now come back to your questions. Actually, fine. So let me complete uh, those two uh, those two topics, and then we can come back to yours. No, <clears throat> my God. So get both there. Let us know. Complete the job and positions. So here, uh, what happens? I am now working on Dev ninety three actually. Fine, Dev ninety three. Dev, uh, I have given uh, two more instances also for you. Huh? Fine. <clears throat> so here, what happens? Dev ninety three and then Dev forty. Both of them are expected to work up to twentieth of November now, and then uh, uh, that will be uh, working fine after twentieth of November. So you can very well work on it. Fine. This is all. We don't know how long they will work actually. For a quick, uh, what happens? You are doing what happens? You can do it because many people are on forty six now. Fine, okay. so means many are forty six. So your system will be slow. Fine, uh, uh, jump in and then do it now. Uh, ninety three is also working. Fine, you can even very well you nobody not much of people are on ninety three. So you can even get a structure and then complete the all the six methods of approval. There are six methods of approval there. All the six methods you can try to complete on ninety three now. <clears throat> fine, before it goes away. Fine, twenty this is what another uh, uh, someone eight days back. Fine, eight days only. <clears throat> fine, try to complete it. So here, uh, first, I will now show you the job. Job, fine. What is the setup and maintenance? For the job level approvals, what are the things you have to do? I will now again revisit actually. Fine, click on search now. <clears throat> I'll now go, I go to the manage jobs. Manage job. I go to the manage job now. Fine, click on the manage job. <clears throat> go there. So I will now query the job now. Fine, T01. Entering now. So I got three jobs which I created now. So I will now click on the hyperlink. When you click on the hyperlink, we are only viewing it. When you go to the edit, then only we can edit now. Fine, click on the view. Fine, on the hyperlink, I'm going to only view it now. So click on it and then view it. So we will have a level of what? 1001. <clears throat> 1001 is the level. Fine, click on done now. <clears throat> and then similarly, yeah, as manager, what happens? You'll be seeing 1002 now. Fine, 1002. And then uh, manager is 1003. <clears throat> so we are given the levels. Level is basically uh, uh, what happens? A grade sort of a thing, actually. Not us. <clears throat> so click on that. Afterwards, what happens? We have to go to the person management. So click on the home icon. I go to the my client groups and the person management. The person management. I've given the positions as well as the supervisor. Actually, fine. That's very important. So EMP one comma T zero one underscore fine comma space EMP one comma space T zero one. I'm querying it now. <clears throat> it will now come over here now. So click on the hyperlink of it. I'm not going to edit mode because it is already set now. So I will not view it actually. I will not, I will not edit it actually. I will not go there and view it now. So you can see the position has been given now, and then go down, and then you can see EMP2 is the boss. And similarly for the EMP2, EMP3 is the boss. So we are now given the line manager actually. Line managers have to be specified now. Fine. Everything has been specified. And then here in the top, what happens? You have to review, save, review, and then submit. That is the order in which you have to do it now. Fine. Click on that. I'm not doing anything. Fine. I'm just showing it. Then afterwards, we'll now go to the what's called straight away. <clears throat> the uh, thing now, fine. <clears throat> so once when this is set, then we can very well configure our requisitioning approach. Now, fine. Click on that. Fine. Go there. So I'll now go to this place and I click on it. I will now go to the search now. <clears throat> go to the manage requisition approvals. Manage rec approvals. No, fine. Manage requisition approvals. We go there. Click on it. So here, uh, so many people have already done the thing now. <clears throat> Once more. So here, uh, so many people have now started working. I have disabled everything and then I have enabled only mine now. <clears throat> The only so everybody will be creating it. So when you're doing it, quickly test now. I have now enabled it and then I have now created a loan. Click on it. Others have been disabled. So people will keep on enabling and disabling it. Fine. You have to visit this page and then again and again see it now. So approval record, job level, preparer, and then start with the manager and then go up to 1000 thing. So preparer is one uh, EMP1. So EMP2 and then go up to one, 1003 is what EMP3. So EMP2 and EMP3 will be there for the job level approvals. So this is being configured like this now. <coughs> I will not go there. Right click and then duplicate. <laughs> Let me go on and create a requisition. I go to the procurement. Here, purchase requisition is not appearing here now in this instance. So what do you do on the left hand side? You go to the show more. <clears throat> show more. There, against purchase requisition, we have a shop. Fine. This is here to go as. So that is not coming as an icon there. So in some places, what happens? There will be some change actually. So purchase requisition, then click on the shop. It will not go to the requisition area. <clears throat> I go to the purchase requisition shop. Fine. If you go to the more task and then go to the update requisition preferences, I already updated it for lock one. Fine. Sub inventory is not required immediately. Fine. Go you cancel no fine. So lock one is the one I updated it. <laughs> so for lock one, item is assigned. Fine. Go there. I will not go to the matter. Enter requisition line. I will not create a requisition. <clears throat> I will not go there. So here we have already have one now. Fine. Let me delete it now. Fine. Let me delete that line. Fine. 
because it has not been submitted actually. So I'm deleting the rank. So let me add a new one now going the T01. So let me add it. So first item, I will go for some four quantities. So go there. I will not put four quantities. I will add to cart. That will be coming over here. I click on it. And then click on the hyperlink of it. It will now come inside. Click on the review. We are going to review it now. Now, EMP2 and EMP3 will be the approvals. Click on the manage approvals. Manage approvals. It will now show you the EMP2 or EMP3 as the approvals actually. Based upon the job level. <laughs> EMP2 and EMP3. In my, in my instance, it's not throwing an error actually. So click on back. We'll now modify this now. Fine. Click on it. We'll now edit it. I'll go back on edit. Go back on. And then here, you're going to start with the preparer. Start with what happens. The preparer is there. And then I will now go up to what? Close on tool. Start with the preparer. So now EMP1 and EMP2 will be the approvers actually. Previously, manager and then uh, 1003, so EMP2 and EMP3. Now, 1 and 2 are the approvers for this case. And click on OK. Go there. Click on Save and then Deploy it. So click on Save and then Deploy it. And then deployment will now take some time, some 10 seconds or something like that. So wait for the deployment to get completed. And then afterwards, again, query for this. So you know, deploy it. You know, so go to the purchase requisition, click on Save and then wait for some time. <clears throat> and then if you click on the Manage Approvers, you'll be getting EMP1 and EMP2 as the approvers now. So click on the manager approvals. You'll be getting what? EMP1 and EMP2 as the approvals section. <laughs> so this completes the job level approvals. Any doubts on this now? So the line managers for everything must be provided. And then we are given up to 1,300. So this is called absolute level. Fine. Absolute level of what happens uh, developing the uh, what happens approval mechanism. The approval is basically what a list building mechanism. It will now build the list of approvals, and then one employee will be given uh, only once. Uh, fine. If uh, the employee is appearing in multiple places, uh, he will be developed only once for approval. Actually, now you can see it is EMP one and EMP two, and EMP one and EMP two. So this completes the job level approval. Let us now go there and then configure my position approvals. Right? Let me go and then configure my position approvals. Right? I will now go to the shop. Right? Go to the shop. Come out of it now. <clears throat> and then here in this place, let me delete this. Right? Click on delete. Right? So that the account will empty now. So let us now go and then configure the positions basically. Fine. There it was not working. So go to the setup and maintenance. Let me configure the position. Mm -hmm. Click on it. I will now go to the search now. Fine. Manage position tree. Manage position tree. The one. And entry now. So manage position three. So I will not create any one on create. I will not create it. I will not say it's a T01 underscore pass underscore three. The tree. Take it off it. And then put on the code now. And paste it over here. Put on the description also. And then click on next now. It is a tree actually. Fine. Click on next. So after having given the name, code, and description, fine. Click on the next on the right hand side. Here nothing to be entered now. Fine. Click on next again. It will not come to the final one. So in this place, what happens? You have to simply submit all the else. Right? So the third one, click on submit. That's it. So the position tree is now created. You know that. Hang on. Now keep on this. What happens here? What happens? You expand it, and then here we are going to create what? Your position tree version actually. Select it. Select the line, and then go to actions, and then create a tree version actually. You are going to create a tree version. Fine. Click on the create tree version. Actions create version by keeping a custom on the property. You know, I will now say T zero one. Fine. I will now say tree version. I'm not creating a tree version now. Fine. Take a copy of it. Put in the description. Fine. Put on the note. And then here, what happens? Uh, the effective start date. Let us not start one day before because sometimes what happens? Uh, if you give it to a tonight only, it will not start. And then always have a habit of giving the end date also because sometimes what happens? This gives a problem. So I'm now giving one year a date actually. I'm going to honest. I'm giving it. So click on the next. It'll go to the specific notes. So click on the next. It'll go to the next one. Thank you. A new blank tree version is now created successfully. Your blank tree version is now created. Thank you for that. So click on OK. Now we are going to what? add the nodes. Thank you for that. So a confirmation message has come for a blank tree version is now created. Thank you for that. Now it's a version actually. The tree version is there. But the tree version is not selectable actually. Only tree is selectable. But tree version is a must actually. Go to the actions and then go to what? Here, what happens? I will now go and then add. Thank you for that. I'm going to add the position. So once when this screen comes, click on search. Find straight away, go on and search. And then we are going to search the top position actually. Positions will now begin on T01, whereas employees will be employee name, come on, first, uh, last name, come on, first name. Whereas position will now become on T, T01 only. So go there. I will now put the top position over here. Fine. MGR, M is the mechanical one, the one. Select it in the left hand side and then click on add tree node by which whatever that gets added. 
And remember, the top position cannot be changed. Like in Ebus, Ebus also, we cannot change the top position. Here also, we cannot change the top position. Right? If something is wrong, you have to drop this and then create a new tree only. A new, a new tree. So select it and then click on plus no fine. I'm going to add the nodes. Now. So click on search no fine. Below which I'm now adding a node. I will again go on and search P01. <clears throat> so click on search no fine. Searching for it. So once you search for it, let me add the assistant manager. Add three node. <clears throat> So below which whatever is not that we explain whatever they it. So we have to make the hierarchy properly now. This is a position hierarchy actually. Select it, select it, and then here whatever they give a plus. You keep your cursor on the assistant manager mechanical and then click on plus. And then click on search now. Keep it at the appropriate place and then search for it. So T01. So since I kept in assistant manager, the junior manager will be reporting to assistant manager actually. And click on search. I will not put the junior manager. It is not done. Fine. If you expand it, you will not find it out. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. Fine. On the right hand side, you go on and submit. So after having created the position in EBIS, we will now run the fill employee hierarchy. Fine. Here uh, is a different one. It is not a fill employee hierarchy. Fine. Click on submit on the right hand side. Fine. Which what happens? You know, submit again. In uh, a tree version is not created successfully, but it will be in a draft stage now. So we have to perform an online audit to make it active. Actually, fine. Select it. And then we have to perform an online audit, audit, and then make it active. Now, fine. Select the draft, which is in a uh, select the version, which is in a draft. Fine. Select it, and then go to actions. And then what happens? Uh, set status to active. This will now trigger automatically an online audit. Fine. Actions set status to active. Fine. When you make it active, it will be triggering an online audit. Fine. Click on the online audit. Fine. Click on the online audit. The online audit will be running. If there is any mistake, it will not show you in your configurations. If there is any mistake. It will not show you. Normally, we won't make any mistakes at all. Yeah. Audit is now completed successfully. I click on OK now. <clears throat> you will see the audit results actually. The audit results is coming. <clears throat> It'll be getting the audit results from mine. So everything is going green, green, take no fine. Name, no duplicate, name, fine, no data source. Fine. All the things, everything has passed all the description. Sure. It is now passing everything. So an audit is a must actually. And then click on done by which what happens, you can now see that what happens, this is now what happens active. Then afterwards, what happens, a row flattening has to be done now. Fine. This is true in Oracle projects also. In uh, project portfolio management also, you will not perform row flattening. Here also, I have to we have to perform row flattening. In fact, what happens? I attended this training in Redwood Shores, California. <laughs> I didn't ask about why. What is the meaning and all? Because it's a very big one, so I was not feeling very comfortable to ask so many questions there. Now, <laughs> go to select it, and then go to actions, and then go to flatten the rows. Fine. <laughs> I'm not going to flatten the row. Fine. Row flattening has to be done. Fine. So somebody was saying it is equivalent to fill employee hierarchy. Fine with that. So I will now click on the online flattening. Fine. In the right hand side top, what happens? You click on the online flattening. So you are now flattening it. <clears throat> so once the flattening is completed, the position hierarchy is now fully set on the machine. Fine. Flattening is complete. And then uh, we normally what happens? I will do it. You always log out and log in for such major changes actually, because sometimes what happens? The changes may not get affected now. So I am not doing it. I will not set directly now. So normally you do the logout and login for such major changes or otherwise whatever they run the LDAP as well as they run import user and those things also run. If the desired uh, whatever is not coming, I click on done now. Fine. <clears throat> so now when you done it, what happens is now giving a small error. Uh, we can ignore this error. And then we'll now go to this place. And then here in this place, what happens? Let me go and then configure my edit routes. I will now configure it. So click on the edit on the action. Now. Action, right hand side edit is there. So go there. I will now make it as what position error. Position hierarchy is the one I go there. So, uh, what happens? I will not drop down this one now. Fine. Position hierarchy. Fine. You see, mine is not coming at all. My tree is not coming. So, that means what? We have to log out and log in. Fine. My tree is not coming yet. So, I have to log out and log in. Fine. Click and cancel now. Fine. Let me log out. <clears throat> I thought that it will be coming, but it is not coming. Click on done now. Fine. Let me log out and log in. My tree will be coming. There, my tree was not coming. And click on sign out now. <laughs> so, click on confirm. And then we'll again sign in. So I was working on div 93 and then it's okay. It's uh, perfect actually. If you go to the, what happens, you go there. I will not go again to what manage requisition approvals. Go to the setup and meta runs. And then go there. So click on it. Click on search. Click on search. And then go there. Manage percentage. Fine. Rec percentage. APP percentage. Manage requisition approvals. Fine. Go and then click on it. And then here. Oh, yeah, but, uh, always what happens, you see your rule might have been disabled or your, your uh, this thing, the stage participant combination might have been disabled. All these things you have to make a check when something is not working. So click on edit rules. The edit rules will happen. Go there. So click on edit now. Fine. And the actions I'm editing it. I don't go there. I'll now make it as a position hierarchy. This time it has to appear. Fine. Go there. Drop it down. Fine. We got it. Fine. 
because these are one percent to your combine over preparer's position i will not say again preparer's position and then i will not go for job levels no fine go that <clears throat> job levels is what a minimum job level fine here fine it is a it is not absolute position i think it no it is not three now fine i will not put three or i will not put one thousand three we will not say whether it works or not one thousand three is working or not i will not go there so job level up to one thousand three so uh, junior manager assistant manager and manager has to be coming over there now. the top position fine t01 positions are always beginning or not only employee will be beginning or the last name first name we'll not put this now. the top position so preparer's position i am putting 1003 if it doesn't work then i will not put three actually <clears throat> three levels are uh, uh, the absolute level i am not i am not remembering it exactly so click on okay now preparer's position preparer position bang over so click on save now so click on save and then click on deploy now so click on deploy <clears throat> It is not getting deployed now. So once when the deployment is completed, we will now go there and then create our purchase position actually. So click on okay, fine. No, no. I will not right click and then duplicate. In the top, I go there, right click and then duplicate. One more tab region is coming. So here I go on that create a requisition. I go to the procurement. Here, purchase requisition icon is not coming. So what you do is in the left hand side, click on the show more. In the show more against the purchase requisition on the right hand side, you have a shop now. So I don't know why the instances are now differently configured actually. I will now click on the shop. So go there. I will not go to the enter requisitions now. Fine. I will not create any requisition. T zero one. Fine. First item. I will not add to cart. That will be coming out of the cart now. Fine. Click on this one. And then click on the review now. We are reviewing it. And then if you go there and then try to what happens? Go to the manager approvals. It has to show me what junior manager, assistant manager, and then manager. If everything is perfect. <laughs> All the three positions will be showing. Till now it was showing only the employee names. Now the position names will be. Showing. And if there are multiple employees on a position, then it will be redirected to the first employee, alphabetically first employee in the first in the position actually. Sometimes alphabetically first, and then if uh, it is having a character numeric constant, then it will be calculating the alpha numeric value, and then whichever is lowest one, that it will be sending it over. So that you have to see. <clears throat> well, you can see junior manager mechanical has come, assistant manager mechanical has come, manager mechanical has come. So these are three also. So let me modify it now. Fine, click back now. Fine. So it is now positions. If multiple employees are occupying this position, the employee, first employee will be given this now. The first employee. Fine. Click on back now. I will not go to this place. Fine. I will not go there. edit now. I will not go there. So go down. Click on it. I will not say, uh, start with the, what happens, uh, next position. Fine. I am not starting with the next position. It's not a manager's position, it's the next position now. Next position. And then I will not say, uh, okay, I will not say 1002 only. So that means what? Only one employee will be there actually. Fine. Only one position will be there. So next position is assistant manager, and then build up to 1002. That means what? Only one position will be coming over here now. Any doubts on this now? So here also plenty of options is there. Fine. If somebody may be requesting it. Fine. If the requesters may also be having a hierarchy. So in that hierarchy, it will be traveling actually. Fine. We try requesters position. Fine. Oh, click on OK. So click on OK. Fine. Now it is now changed. Fine. Next position is 1002 only. That means the absolute position is working here now. Fine. Click on it. I thought that it has been relative, but it is not a relative. Absolute is working. In supervisor level, it is absolute. In supervisor level, it is absolute. Fine. Two levels or three levels or whatever they are doing. So it's not enough. Fine. So wait for some time and then click on save on the requisition. Now only okay, the manager mechanical has to come. Nothing else will be there. So click on save now. And then what happens? I'll not go to the manager approval. So only assistant manager mechanical has to come. Nothing else has to come. Next position, then stop at 1002. We are given now. So we can be stopping at 1002. So assistant manager mechanical. Mm. Uh, Nana, generally, logically, uh, in real world scenario, yeah. uh, so they will they will be following the requesters uh, hierarchy, you know? It is not so, no. Fine. See, I will tell you my comment. See, now, see, Asma and the mechanical. Uh, uh, when I was working in uh, Steel Authority, I was working in what happens, uh, uh, in Ispath Industries, Bombay. Uh, I am a manager, actually. I am a shop floor manager, actually. And then uh, my uh, department, fine, our electrical department has got a technical assistant. She will be creating the requisitions for the normal consumables, fine, on a weekly basis, on a planned material. It's called planned materials. So she will be creating the requisition, fine, like thermocouples, and then all the what happens, the consumables, like what happens, uh, you'll be having uh, cotton based, uh, some cleaning fluids, and other things, grease, everything will be on a regular basis, will be considered here. So, for all the planned purchases, she will be making a requisition. So, she will make up what happens, a weekly plan, monthly plan, and then yearly plan or a quarterly plan. So weekly, monthly, and quarterly plan, and then based upon which she will be creating the requisition. Right? It is not a need base, but it is a just to replenish your stock actually. And she reports to GM directly. 
So she has got a hierarchy of what? Uh, she is a technical assistant reporting to GM. Whereas I am a manager, I will be reporting to my DGM. The DGM is reporting to GM actually. So I have a different hierarchy. So whenever I go to the field, what I do is I will not find that one transmitter is really bad. I will be almost two kilometers away from the office actually. So I will not give a call to her. Fine, Lakshmi, uh, why don't you get a requisition for uh, the 10, uh, 10 kg transmitter? I need it immediately. So she will now create a requisition on my behalf. So what happens? Uh, I'm the requester and then she is the preparer actually. So you will now say start from requester and then it will now start to flow in my hierarchy and not in her hierarchy. Are you getting the difference between the preparer and requester? Anybody else can say yes to me? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Now I... Uh, Got an idea, no? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, this will be applicable. These uh, hierarchies will be applicable in case of manual PRs only. So the PRs coming from the... Automatic or manual PR, the hierarchies are always applicable. Okay, okay. Say, for example, inventory needs a material. Right? Mm -hmm. Max planning is the one which is now asking for material. So once when you trigger the min-max from inventory, the system will be automatically approving it because there is no need for any approval at all. Because the demand is coming from some other module. So that module needs a material and so the requisition will be getting approved automatically. Whereas when you are creating a manual PR, it needs to be approved by somebody actually. Got it? Okay, okay. Got it now. now. Because the, uh, uh, when you are buying it, what happens? Uh, there must be some authorization by somebody. Fine. Why you are buying it? Fine. So, mm -hmm. what happens, we have this many types of approvals, whichever is more suitable for your company. And the ultimate idea is what? Spend reduction. Unnecessarily, you should not spend. Right. So, so that we, the approvers will be, what happens, uh, deciding, okay, fine, we can now spend it. The absolute must. So, they will now give a permission to you. The approved requisition is the start point for the purchase officer to begin purchase order creation section. Now it's the time now. Fine, you can now start to shoot your questions. Uh, Nana, one question from my side. Uh, let's say we are having three levels and uh, uh, the, re the requisition is at level two. And I understand that the flow is wrong. So I want to recall it. Uh, you, have to, you have to go to and then withdraw. Withdraw. And, withdraw. Then, and then afterwards, okay. the change of the levels and then afterwards, the resubmit it. Okay. This withdraw and edit is not available for on EBS basically. Fine, it is a new feature which has come over here. So withdraw and edit is possible in Fusion actually. Okay, thank you. There, what happens? The purchase officer has to return it back to the requester actually. Fine. There is a different concept in EBS. Here, uh, requester himself can withdraw, and that is more appropriate actually. Yes, Deepthi, you can now. Yeah. Uh, for employee supervisor hierarchy, Nana, how do you handle the? Uh, Minimum and the maximum employee. employee. Hierarchy is designed by this law. If you go there, this is the only place where we design the employee supervisor hierarchy. Actually. So go to the procurement, go to the my client groups, and then in the person management, if you query, the, every employee's line manager is now said. You have to spell up the line manager of each and every employee. Go there, click on search, no fine. I'm getting it. So by which the supervisor of the employee is designed actually. I'm now opening it up. Yeah. So click on it. So once it is open, what happens? We can now see the supervisor of the employee. Mm -hmm. So this is the only place where we are now saying who is the manager of who. In this place, what happens? EMP2 is the manager of EMP1 actually. Mm -hmm. Fine. This is the way we set up the hierarchy. Nowhere else the hierarchy is set up. Got it now? Fine. But so, it's it's yeah. uh, set up automatically, right? In, I, I mean, the it automatically finds the manager and if the manager... Yeah, yeah. But, it automatically finds the next level and then it will now be going to the next level. But it, it does not look at like the approval levels or anything, like what kind of uh, amount he can approve. So, you see, the approval, it, entire approval is basically a list building mechanism. It will now build the list of approvals based upon the conditions you are writing here. In this place, whatever you are writing the conditions. Are. So okay, I see. I get it. I get it. So here, what I'm going to writing the condition and then it will now see, first of all, the condition is a Boolean expression. It will now see, first of all, your rule is applicable or not, right? It's a Boolean expression. Is it true or false? And then afterwards, we got six types of actions which is possible. One is automatic, one is individual worker, one is an approval group, one is a job level, one is a supervisor level, and then one is a position level. So there are six types of approvals are possible. So you have to set it up accordingly and then do these setups as such. So based upon which... What is the mechanism will now build the list of approvals actually.
employee supervisor that feature is there like ebs sorry employee supervisor here it is only as a supervisor in this place what happens there is no as a supervisor we don't have a employee supervisor name fine if you click on edit now fine you will not find what happens in this place we will not find a supervisor hierarchy this is all okay which is equivalent to the employee supervisor basically relative levels actually this is more used than the job level job levels are absolute fine 1001 1002 1003 fine is absolute whereas supervisor hierarchy is relative you will not say up to how many extra levels from from the present level you build the list of approvers for three levels or four levels or five levels you can say so it is widely used when compared to job job is fixed and so it has got limited application actually but a supervisor is basically number of levels which are there in the place so it is very highly used and coming back to deepthi's question about the amount limits uh, is that also something that you have to create as a rule like for example go so, to my manager but amount no fine please watch yeah. the record my students have configured on the amount actually <laughs> okay just watch the dolt record that you can understand it Fine. They have configured for Tawasul Telecom actually, and then they have done two stages actually, beautifully done. Fine. So they are coupled for PR and PO together in one place actually. Fine. Nicely done actually. Sir, can you explain supervisor hierarchy again? See, as junior manager is now going to report to what? Uh, we have got 1001, 1002, 1003 actually. Fine. Well, I will open up the Excel sheet now. Fine. Okay. I will not. I will not open up a new sheet. Now. Fine. New sheet. So let's say we have positions, rather a job levels are like this. Now, fine. One thousand one, one thousand two. They got so many levels. Now, employee who is having what happens one zero one zero as his job level, he is now creating it now. Fine. He is now creating a requisition now. Fine. So he is the preparer. He is the preparer. You will not say start with preparer. Right? Start with or is manager. M A N E is managing, and then uh, go up to build up. We call this a build up to. We call this what? Build up to. That is a one zero one four. Now, who are all the employees which will be built by the approval mechanism? Approval mechanism is something but a list building mechanism. It will now bring whom 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 now. Employees who are having levels of what? Start the manager is what? He the preparer. So one zero one one, one zero one two, one zero one three, one zero one four. So okay, these four levels employees will be brought into the approval mechanism. Actually, approval mechanism is basically a list building mechanism. It will now build the list of approvers who are going to approve now. Fine. So it will now put these things in serial. Actually, so it, it may be for for a job you are giving the absolute one. For the supervisor, it will now say build up to what uh, three levels. Now. Fine. It will now go there. It will now say. What build up to uh, four levels? Four levels means what? From this position onwards, four levels. One, two, three, four, like that. So supervisor will now say number of levels, whereas job level will now give you the absolute job number. Job level will now give you the absolute job number. <clears throat> so absolute job job number is applicable only for certain things, not for everything. Whereas supervisor is generic now. Fine. Next to four levels. Next two levels. Next three levels. You can say now. It's very generic. So it is widely used when compared to job. It is widely used when compared to job. So supervisor is an excellent one. So, but again, what happens? It all depends upon the requirements gathering which you are doing. So based upon the requirements gathering which you have made in the field, accordingly you will now decide which of routing has to be followed. Actually. So it's job level and supervisor hierarchy similar. What is what the best one is approval group. Many people will be using configuring approval group. It's a very simple one. Sir, job job level and supervisor are similar or different job and supervisor are same now right the only difference between job is what you will not build up to let's say uh, uh, will not say build up to will not say 1015 fine 1015 so you will not say absolute uh, or the, the job levels actually whereas in a supervisor you will not say build up to three levels like that you will also okay we will mention levels here not the numbers yeah. supervisor you will not mention the levels there is okay. job, you will not put the absolute job number actually. Even position are the same, sir. We mentioned numbering only. Okay. There also we have to position, we have to enter only the whatever job levels. Fine. We have to enter the job levels. We have to build up to this fine. They build up to what happens. This is the one. Fine. Build up to the position also what happens. Build up to 1017. Fine. 1017. But build the employee actually. It will not build what are the junior manager, the assistant manager, it will not build. Position will not build the uh, positions. 
Whereas the other ones will not build the employees actually. The other ones will be building the employee. Fine. Whereas position will be building the positions actually. Okay. So Nana, if uh, if we say build up to uh, 1014, every requisition is going to go all the way up to 1014? No. Only then it will be getting approved. Every requisition uh, uh, go up to 1014 means what? From the start of the manager, fine for that. It will not go up to this one, up to this. One by one it has to get approved. And then only when 1014 mm -hmm. approves, it will be getting approved. But it, if we mention the levels, then only it will go, sir. Otherwise, it will not go, right? So, See, so what level? level mentioning is what? There are two types of level mentioning. Only what? Absolute level and then one is a relative level. Relative level is used only in supervisor hierarchy. Whereas, absolute levels are mentioned in job level as well as position levels. So, no matter of the amount or anything, it's yeah. still going to go to one zero one. On this condition, actually. Amount, what happens? Amount has to be done on the condition cycle. Can give a cancel? No, fine. If you want to add amount, no, fine. Click on add add condition fine. below. Fine. I will not say requisitioning amount. Fine. So amount will be coming over here like this. No, fine. I will not say requisition. Uh, there is amount here. Requisition. Uh, requisition. Line is coming. Attribute. Line, line, line. Everything is coming. <laughs> Why amount is not coming? Fine. I will not say. Uh, I'm going to put amount of A, M, O, M, T. Maybe it's total. Maybe something. I have forgotten that. You have to, first of all, there is no list available here now. There is the biggest problem. Now, right? There is no such a list of uh, what happens, uh, the attributes available now. Fine. R, E, Q, U, I, requisitioning total, maybe. Fine. Requisitioning total. Why is it not coming? Fine. Click on more and then query for it. Now, fine. Click on search. Now, fine. The more. Requisition have... amount header. That's... Requisition approval amount. So my students have configured in between now, fine, between. They have configured and the total they have fine whether if it is going to be from thousand fine, to two thousand. Fine, click on okay. So if the amount is between this, then this rule is applicable. If the, if the amount is beyond this one, less than thousand or greater than two thousand, this rule will not be applicable actually. They have configured it for Tabaso like this only. Fine. The amount will be done as a condition actually. Okay. Nana, at what point of time we have to decide uh, which rule has to be applied and where we select no, that in the system? Dynamic. See, that is a dynamic activity. See, I am now teaching you how to play chess. Fine. But how to become a grandmaster, you only have to play, play, and then what happens? And identify. No, so, in the requisition, where we select this? This is a requirement. Fine. They say that it has to be approved by up to this only when the amount is between these two. Then you have to write like this. So, depending upon what you are observing it in the field, that has to be mapped into the system in the form of a conditions and actions actually. So, you have to map it. Right? So, you have to use all these things with your skills of your consultancy and then accordingly create a rule. So, that what happens? It exactly matches his requirement. Just watch the 12th video once now. Find how they have done it. It will not give you a good idea. They have coupled the department and then the requisition total also. Right? So both things they were coupled, and then what happens? It will be coming like this. So this is again what happens. Uh, nobody can teach you, but how to write now. So if you write like this, it will not behave like this. Only I can say. But what to write? Right? That is a basically a big question which you have to what happens uh, based upon your requirements gathering how they want it. You think, 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 and then what conditions will now meet that uh, what happens? Uh, the end client's requirement actually. My students have done wonders on this. Now they know that. Sir, there are so many. You can even under or also. Conditioning and can be two lines are under, another two lines are under, they are all both or done. Right? Likewise, what happens? A condition is basically a Boolean expression. So, by which also I can do it. Very complex. Uh, what happens? The conditions have been written by my students. <clears throat> my one student told me that I have got eight conditions, sir, in my in my mm -hmm. approvals, actually. So, it's very big, actually. <clears throat> Sometimes it will be very complex also. Fine. Those eight conditions exactly matches his needs, actually, in client's needs. <clears throat> The conditions may be even very high. So, if anybody can do one thing, I find go to the add condition and then here below, and then here it doesn't give you the list actually. Fine, go there, click on it, and then if you go and then query on A now, find A. <clears throat> Sorry, A. I'm going to query on A. It will not show all the attributes starting on A actually. And so many. Then afterwards, what happens? You go there and then query on B. Fine. <laughs> so, likewise, what happens? You have to make one list of attributes actually. Only one is coming. Fine, go there, C. C. I made this exercise long back and then I have one document on the one thing. You see that the document is there or not. I'm going to go there. Go to this place. 
I will not go to the procurement documentation. And then I will not say uh, conditions, I think. I forgot the name of the document also. C O N D. I will not say whether in there or not. I will not say approval, APP, fusion application, or even only there. Long time back, I made it. But I made one document on conditions. I like that. What I made, I made a, and then I made a document also. On how many conditions are existing actually there? If you find it out, what happens? You please tell me. It may be may not be in this place. Now fine, go there in this place. What happens? I will not go to the court. Now fine, go there. I will not say conditions. I will not say whether I kept on the additional documents are not fine. C O N D. Uh, requisition approval. Yes, is there? Thirty ninth document on uh, what happens? Additional docs records four. Right? Requisitioning approval is it. a very old one now. Fine, even though it is now showing twenty two. But what happens? It has been modified. Fine. Double two hundred. Thirty ninth document on additional docs records four. Fine. I have now listed down all the available conditions over here. You can see. So on this one, yeah, on all fine, everything. I have taken a copy, you know, fine. I have taken a screenshot of it, and then I have put it over here. So that will now give you a good idea, and then watch it, and then see how many ways you can very well do it actually. And so many things are there. So this might have got changed now, fine. This is a very old one, and then uh, likewise, what happens? You have to make a list actually. So that what happens? You cannot try to see which one will now suit uh, the end client very well actually. So the 39th the requisition approval conditions on additional docs records four. It is there actually. Got it. Is there any suggested sequence, reading sequence? Uh, no, sir. You are given a lot of documents. <laughs> Very difficult, actually. You don't have any reading sequence, actually. Now, eh? <clears throat> so many things are there, man. It's really very difficult, actually. <laughs> This approval is really a very complex one in some cases, no man. And one of my guy, what happens? He has not made the flowchart at all. He has written around two hundred rules. Remember, and he is saying confused, sir. Which rule is firing? I am unable to understand. No? <laughs> if you don't document it and then start to work on the system, what happens? That will happen. You have to make a reverse engineering. And then uh, he asked me. <coughs> I told him that I cannot sit on this. No man. It's very difficult actually. The person who was reading it. Fine. You have to put everything on paper, your flow chart sort of thing. You have to make, and then only put it on the system. Actually, if you keep on writing that uh, conditions, the uh, rules and uh, conditions, uh, keep on doing it, you may not know what you have written actually later on. The people get uh, affected actually, mm -hmm. and whenever the customer says that uh, you change from two thousand to two thousand five hundred, on which rule he has written, fine, two hundred rules are there. <laughs> you may not be able to understand. You may not be able to identify where he has written it now. When a change is requested by the client, and then what will be finding a lot. So, any other questions from anybody else? Yeah. It's really a very tough one. Fine, approvals is not an easy one actually. It's very complex, and then very complex things can be very easily configured here. One thing is the conditions play a vital role. That is where uh, you will be finding all this things. Try, 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 and then uh, what happens? Uh, try to complete because if you use a header library already, what happens? If you go on and see on the one now, fine, brother, you'll have one serial now, fine. Maybe the serial one. If you go on and see, so many guys have already written so many rules. Like if you see, they have not written what happens? Uh, only a simple condition like this. BU condition, they have not written. I asked when many multiple people are working, you put a BU condition, fine, brother. Here, what about the category level? He has put a condition, fine, brother. And then see, is the amount condition he has written now. But a BU condition, if you write it, your rule will not be getting updated anywhere else. You put a BU condition so that whatever it will be applicable only for you. Otherwise, if you fire, what happens? So many things will be coming there on the approval. Or this employee is not there at all in my place. Fine. It is across all the LEs, actually. This approval mechanism is across all the LEs. And so what happens? It can even pick up anybody from any LE, actually. Employees are owned by LE. And so what happens? Everything will be coming up over here, actually. Deepthi is already finding very, very difficult, actually. <laughs> First of all, come on. I'm getting the hang of it now, Nana. <laughs> first, first, complete the six methods now, fine, quickly. You once when you complete it, then afterwards, what happens? You can even uh, read the documents and other things, and then try to enhance your knowledge. Actually, yeah. will are, do. Yeah, because the implementation guide is around thousand six hundred pages or something. It's very, very difficult to sit and then read. Actually, <laughs> it's not at all easy. Actually, so much of the things are there. You will not feel sleepy in reading those guys, actually. 
but uh, it may give you a lot of information. Only thing is what it will not exactly what happens is not properly directed. Actually, some information is here, some will be there, and likewise, it will be jumping here and there. Actually. Thank you so much for doing this for us, ma'am. Tell me. Thank you so much for taking the time out for us today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, any questions? I know that it's very difficult. Before next Saturday, try to complete all the six methods of approval and then post it. Now, and I'll be very happy to see that you have completed all the six methods. So, <clears throat> if there is a, no other question, we will now call it a day actually. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, meet next week. Yeah. Today we are going to begin. Fine, we'll not go ahead all this. <clears throat> Okay. So going to next things actually. Thanks, Thanks. Nana. Happy Diwali. Thank you, Nana. Thanks. Happy Diwali, Happy Diwali to all. Bye bye. Happy Take Diwali. Care. Bye. Happy Diwali. Bye. So bye for now, and then we'll now meet on uh, six p.m. on Saturday. Actually. Yeah. Okay. Bye.